Crooks, and welcome to Tech TV. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down under the name of Hoof Trimmers. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech TV. Today I am bringing you the story of Billy and Benny, two cat food friends who can be quite mischievous. Billy was a little bit nosier than Benny and everywhere Billy went, Benny was sure to follow. Billy took a shine to Tom, but Tom didn't take a shine to Billy when he pulled out the plug and bent the little pins on it. All was okay though when we got this problem sorted. Open up all this, you know. There's a great electrical walk. You <laughs> tell her maybe let us away with Gareth, it was all that had walked on it, you know? Yes. Benny was first into the crush and he moved a little bit quicker than Billy. Benny was laying on a front foot while Billy was laying on a back foot. Both these friends had white line defects. Benny had a white line crack on the front right inner claw, while Billy had a white line crack on the back left inner claw. Benny needed a block on his front foot, and Billy needed a block on his back foot. So let's spend a bit of time on Benny's sore front foot. The white line is the weakest part of the foot, and I would imagine Benny has injured it from knocking it off something in the shed, especially when you see how lively he is. With the block fitted, I trim the inner side wall with the knife. This is an awkward claw to trim, as I'm right-handed, so going up to the left of the inner claw doesn't feel natural for me and a wee bit against my hand.
I'm happy with how the fracture in the white line is trimming out and getting the weight off it will help Benny to recover 100%. I won't bandage him as he's going back to the field where the infection pressure is low. Instead, I paint on some green gel which will dry into the lesion and kill any bacteria. The fresh air in the field will help to heal this rather than a moist bandage being on his foot for a number of months until he's back in the shed. Billy's back foot was a bit more overgrown than Benny's and a bit harder too. These young energetic cattle can be prone to injuries like this from slipping and sliding on concrete surfaces. Damage to the white line area is a result of this. Just like the way me and my brothers wrestled and fought, we still do but just not as much as when we were young, but some of us were always sure to get injured. of the loose horn will sort both these boys out as thankfully there is no digital in either of these cracks that leaves them easier to heal So thank you folks for watching this episode and story of Billy and Benny. We were glad we were able to intervene and help these lively young chaps. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Take care and we will chat to you all soon.